In 2003, a multi-billion dollar project, the world, was announced. The World Islands is an archipelago of small artificial islands constructed in the shape of a world map located in the waters of the Persian Gulf off the coast of Dubai. The World is another visionary project from Nakheel, who, with every groundbreaking development, realizes the vision of Dubai. The city's premier development company, Nakheel, echoes the city's ambitious rise with a passion and imagination that delivers a portfolio of projects with redefining home, holiday, and investment. The project, when it sees completion, will consist of 300 small private artificial islands divided into four categories, private homes, estate homes, dream resorts, and community islands. Yes, this project also is yet to see completion, and currently the islands are empty. The demand for ocean properties has always remained high, and this project was conceived because Dubai had already expanded along most of its coastline. Nakheel started building upon three projects that, when viewed from space, represented the shape of a palm tree. Three of them included Palm Jabir, Palm Jabir Ali, and Palm Dira, which was the largest one. Nakheel just couldn't stop there. So, in addition to these three archipelagos, the world was announced. The developer later on also showed interest in converting it to the universe. But what exactly happened to these islands and why are they still empty? In 20 years, numerous different problems have led to delays in the works. Non-payment, debts, legal problems, and irreparable environmental impact. Some islands sinking back into the sea. Despite all these unforeseen circumstances, that have threatened the feasibility of the project. The developer, Nakio, is not giving up on it. The financial and real estate crisis of 2008 and the drop in oil prices in 2014, which fueled the Emirates economy, were the first events to have a negative impact on the feasibility of this macro project. The chronologically of the events is long and complex, but essentially it can be summarized in private investors that pulled out million dollar debts incurred by the developer lawsuits, and suspended works, with no restart date. Although some of the apartments in Palm Jumeirah were handed over and a huge opening ceremony was held at the Atlantis Hotel. Yet Dubai couldn't resist the international market crisis. The construction of Palm Jabir Ali ever since has been on hold, and an island that spans over four kilometers in the sea appears oddly forgotten. A similar was the fate of Palm Dira, but Nakheel tried to save this project by simply changing its physical characteristics. Dira Island now comprises four man-made islands, situated adjacent to Dubai's Dira district. The remarkable project covers a total area of 15.3 square kilometers and adds 40 kilometers, including 21 kilometers of beachfront to Dubai's coastline, easily accessible from the mainland via road or boat. Dira Island is also close to Dubai's international airport. Talking about the world, an Australian developer in 2014 showed interest in developing some projects on the European island. This sub-project is named the Heart of Europe, based on six islands that bring the best of Europe to Dubai. The Heart of Europe is located two miles from the coast of Dubai. The remarkable project covers a total area of 15.3 square kilometers and adds 40 kilometers, including 21 kilometers of beachfront to Dubai's coastline. Easily accessible from the mainland via road the heart of Europe is located two miles from the coast of Dubai and will offer up a variety of European culture, dining, and hospitality experiences across resorts, cafes, bars, boutiques, and entertainment. This project will offer world's first attractions such as the first underwater hotel with gym and spa, the first dedicated wedding hotel, the world's first artificial rainy street, the first floating and underwater living experience, and the world's first outdoor snow plaza. This project is also under construction, and only time will tell its feasibility, completion date, and effect on Dubai's tourism and real estate industry. Phase 1, opening of the heart of Europe, consists of Sweden beach palaces, Germany villas, Honeymoon Island, Portofino Hotel, and Cote d'Azur Resort. Dubai's economic shift caused many development projects to come to a standstill. The financial losses also caused investors to back out and also, at a point, the buyers were refunded for the islands. The halt in the construction in combination with the rise in sea level would later result in the gradual erosion of the sand from the islands. Apart from that, COVID-19 served the purpose of becoming a final nail in the coffin for this project as the whole world went into lockdown. 
the declining demand for the projects leads right into the rapid fall of the price of the plots. Slowly and gradually, the prestige project of Dubai was sinking back into the Persian Gulf. To top it all off, the suicide of a certain buyer, the arrest of another for fraudulent payments, and most importantly, the financers backing out of providing funds to continue construction took a huge toll. After all the bad news though, finally, there is some silver lining as the world is trying to rejuvenate from what it just faced. Economies are growing and businesses are becoming profitable again, specifically talking about the European islands. The interest of Europeans is growing with every passing day, and they are more than willing to support this project. Apart from European islands, Dira Islands is also being rebranded and apartments, malls, and roads are being developed currently. So, guys, that was all about Dubai's empty islands that are not going to remain empty for a longer period of time. Would you like to visit these islands when the project completes? Which European islands would you want to visit right away? Give us your opinions in the comment section down below. Also, if you liked the video, please leave us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.